Hi everyone, it's Artis from Man Carpentry and Construction Limited. Today I would like to review uh, one of my tools again, uh, which is a um, felt plunge saw MT55CC. So I had it for about a year and a bit now. So I wanted to compare it especially to Makita SP6000, which I used to run. Uh, I had two of them. Uh, and wanted to just share my thoughts so uh, why I switched to my fell uh, reason was because the casing uh, bearing casing for Makita um, was in plastic so obviously that's uh, what was the main problem with Makita why I've changed it because once it wears out uh, what you have your cuts aren't even, so it starts to wave, wave around the blade. So, so hence why I um, decided to upgrade for something a bit better. And uh, this all has metal casing, so uh, it is slightly cheaper. Uh, uh, sorry, slightly more expensive than uh, equal uh, some Makita set but nevertheless uh, it is better and today I'll show you what what's better what's not so good and uh, yeah and general long-term um, experience so um, the kit I had uh, was a short rail like that and which is 800 a 1600 rail a connector joiner and I also opted for this uh, which supposedly gives you um, mobility to cut on different angles so again on the side of the they're quite similar I've got here a Makita rail to show you uh, so that's how Makita stops it from sliding and that's how my fellows worked it out you can also get with these a suction pad which connects onto extractor, which then uh, helps to to hold the um, guide rail down better, supposedly. Or you can have clamps, which I got here. Um, so obviously there are many wearables. Um, you can get other sort of kits, extra kits with it if you like. Um, also parallel guide fences etc so but what I wanted to share with you is uh, why I picked my fell and also what is better and what is not so good uh, what I expect to be a bit better so uh, what I liked about it first to start with is that it's compatible with Makita rails because I have uh, had some um, parallel guide made to fit Makita rails uh, so I can use the saw on Makita rails uh, and that way it gives me flexibility if I don't need to do parallel cuts then I you know can use the Mafel rails so the only thing you need to do here this is the part which it's got in this slot here like that and that's what you need to remove and by removing it you will be able to um, by removing it with the screws there's some screws there you undo these four screws and it pops out and this 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 here is the guide for Makita and this here is guide for original Mafel um, Mafel uh, rail. So uh, the pros of this saw. Let's put it on the rail. So what I love, like about this saw, you got this a plastic sp splinter, uh, not splinter, but uh, that dust catcher, which actually does help. So when you do cuts, you can lower it down to minimize dust shooting out. Um, that way or you know going everywhere um, 
also the great feature is replacing the blade all you do is press the button in on the side and you can do it all by with one hand pull up the lever and here you go that's your you, you access the blade and also it locks it in straight away so you don't have to worry don't have to mess around with locking it in so push it back and it's all done and it's all working so uh, I use 110 because I um, well when the first one uh, one uh, battery power ones came out they weren't that powerful so because I was using it a lot for making bespoke stuff um, and cuts in general I found that um, it just not was not worth it to invest in uh, battery power at the time and I still I'm using 110 I don't mind you set it up once and you use it so it's got auto start uh, function as well on a Hoover and that's the other difference what I had um, with this M class Hoover and yeah so uh, in terms of power they very similar uh, of what they can cut cut um, I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever uh, so I'll just show you a little let's let's cut a little a little bit off so you can see how it all works so I want to trim it up so as you obviously hit the trigger it will start so what you got to do show you the setup so you got to plug in your hoover into the 110 supply and then your tool into the hoover itself and then once you press the trigger your hoover will start So another great feature um, is this, how you adjust the depth, that is much better than uh, than uh, Makita had, or easier, because you only press and you move up and release it, where on Makita you had to tighten, tighten up like a bolt, rather than a easy press and press down switch press down the move switch so that's that is also something to consider and you you only need to tighten for your angles you only need to tighten when I do one bolt so instead of having front and back bolts I like saw so. so that's that's nice and easy but again if you do like um, anything over 30 degrees I would say uh, you would need to clamp your uh, or hold on to your um, plancher hold it down because it will want to sort of lean but that's on both saws so let's put this back so you can do it by one hand so on a Makita saw you got a knob there and knob there so you need to bo do both where on this one is just one uh, these are to adjust how it sits on the rail, sort of how uh, how much it wobbles, so how stiff it go, uh, goes on the rail, because you can make it looser, so it sort of um, has easier to glide, but if you have it too much of the wobble, then obviously it will reflect on your cut. Um, these are the clamps, they didn't come. I believe I had to get them separately these clamps so they are clamps for your rails this is the joiner I'll show you how you can join let's join this it's quite simple these are plastic inserts so that's another great thing here 
these inserts when these inserts are on uh, which Makita doesn't have then when you when your uh, cable glides it doesn't catch on these sharps or edges where on a Makita one it does always catch you can get a shroud over the hose which kind of helps with the hose but obviously it doesn't sort out your cable problem um, which can which will catch uh, obviously if you not if you forget to move it left or right so let's just uh, let's just show you doing that that's actually quite straightforward so you put as you can see here it, it shows you where to, how deep to put it in Now this system again this joining system is better so you need flat screwdriver let's grab one so this allen key comes in a set so you need to make sure this join is flush and just tighten it like so and what it does it pushes these parts against and therefore locks it in um, the system on joining the Makita one is a metal thinner bar uh, so which allows for some movement so I would say that is slightly worse uh, what I did forget to mention here's the Allen key again for your um, blade replacing um, Makita's got one as well um, but yeah, so uh, this is slightly dearer. I think now they, in today's market, um, they are about 650 for the set what I had. Um, but what I did opt in was this rail option, which is 800, 1600, and the the angle uh, cutting bit, which can do a square cut and angle cut so um, personally uh, I haven't used this that much uh, but it's handy to have you know if you need it so yeah um, that's my review on uh, comparing two tools but don't get me wrong Makita is good uh, I prefer Makita's Hoover better uh, it's suction power but then it didn't had ability to have auto start but overall um, my felt is slightly ahead um, because of build quality it's all you know aluminium um, rather than plastic housings etc so so that's where it wins uh, and yeah so they are very close but because it's got these easier to live with adjustable um, knobs etc and uh, extra dash catcher easy adjusting angles and all that sort of thing uh, it wins for me um, but uh, I can't fault Makita personally because as you know I, I do like Makita I use um, most of my tools on Makita, but uh, in in terms of uh, whether I would buy another, I felt I would because uh, uh, yeah, I find it a bit better with all these extra thoughtful things they added in. Um, it's just easier to live with day to day, especially when you use it a lot. If you don't use it a lot, I would say buy Makita. Uh, because it will be fine um, for for not constant use but because I use a uh, plunger a lot that's why I went for my fell 
um, because I just yeah after two having two uh, Makita planchos I decided I need something a bit uh, more robust basically so it can with withstand my um, my need for using it and uh, hopefully it's been only a year and a half a year a year and a bit now hopefully it will last me longer than uh, my kit and uh, that's why I myself purchased um, a fell but hoping that it will last me longer than Makita did uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you in the next videos